Brandlife.co.za. Welcome to the Financial Independence Coach, naturally creating freedom, meaning, and wealth. Brought to you by Yeko BTY Ltd. In association with Brandlive.co.za. And here is your host and coach, Yvonne E. Pentelo. Good morning, Brand Live streamers and Yefil PTY LTD subscribers. Yes, it is Monday and you're listening to the Financial Independence Coach. Now, about a week, two weeks ago on my WhatsApp groups, I've told everybody about this new toy that I'm playing with. And I've had so much fun with it. Well, today in studio, I have got the expert, Yuanika. Hi, Yuanika. How are you doing? Good, and you, Yvonne? No, always excellent. Good. Yuanika, now I've been talking about this toy. And I really think it's a toy because it really, it makes my life and organizing and planning and tracking so much easier than my manual tools that I've set up. And it's just so much fun. Now, first off, the toy, Bitrix 24. Yes. Tell us a bit more, where does Bitrix come from? Bitrix was originally started somewhere in Russia where they have all those funny surnames. Mm -hmm. Um, And it started as a project management tool because in most of our businesses, I think we lose money because of a lack of efficiency. You've got all the good ideas and whatever, but you don't executed properly so that's how it started and it developed and it growed into a system that is worldwide used by i don't know uh, it actually changes every day if you go onto the website you can see the amount of users yeah it just keeps on climbing and climbing and climbing exactly so and so at the moment the head office is in um in america a lot of the developers are either in the uk or in in russia and um, yeah, it's a it's a global system growing at a rapid pace. And it's not just a system that was invented yesterday or the Mm-mm. or the year before. I actually went into the actual stats, and it's been running for what almost eighteen years now. Yes, it started as Bitrix Soft, and then because um, it was a bit limited because it had a lot of the the project stuff, and you had to know a bit of a technical side to change it. And then they um, relaunched it as Bitrix 24 and especially the online. And um, it is so user friendly. And what makes it different, why I like it, is what you just mentioned. It's one tool, they call it a collaboration suite, where you manage your whole business. Mm-hmm. And you don't need an add on app to buy later. It's a tools, it's, it's about 20 to 25 business tools. In one system. All in one. All in one. It's all interlinked. Everybody is on the same page at the same time. And what's what I like about it is you can load employees or colla- uh, people that you collaborate with and you can share the stuff with them on there. And it is, it just, it flows. Yeah, m- my passion um, for Bitrix is because of the CRM part, because that's my background customer relations and marketing and sales. So CRM can either be a customer relationship management tool or it can be a, a contact record management system. Either either way, because sometimes if you say CRM, people will think, oh, no, I don't need that. But how often in a company, well, how often do you get sales calls from the same company from different people? You often. get you get those phone calls from especially from call centers, yes. which are absolutely dread. And it's oh, I'm phoning from so and so, and we're phoning you with a special. And then it's like, an darling, I told somebody in your office last week, please don't contact me because I'm a certified financial planner. I don't need your whatever it is you're trying to sell me. So that's where uh, any contact management system comes in so then i will log that say i've already called you so now please don't call this person again or for your current customers you've got an outstanding invoice but there's an issue that we still need to resolve now the accounts lady phones you about your overdue bill but the meantime it's our problem 
So mm. if you have a contact management system where you're logging all those communications, then the whole company is on the same page and you save time because now the accountant doesn't have to make that call and make apologies to the customer. Everybody is on the same page at the same time. Now that's in a, a medium to bigger enterprise. Now, if we take it from the, the, the perspective of a one man band, a, a single business owner maybe has a couple of employees, um, not management level, maybe a external bookkeeper. This tool can be used for that too. Absolutely. Um, for small businesses starting up, Bitrix is almost a part of your um, employees. It's your PA administrator because it manages, like I said, all the contacts. So everybody has the same details. It manages um, your tasks, setting out reminders. For, for instance, if you're a small business manager with three salespeople in the field, you can have full control at all times of are they following up on their leads? What meetings do they have? Or giving them access to the information that they need that when they sit in front of a customer, they don't have to... Um, and, oh, and, yeah, um, I'll get back to you with a quote. What to say. Um, and also in terms of your marketing and your leads, if you don't have a big team with a sales manager that handles everything, you load it into Bitrix and Bitrix is your sales manager. Um, if I need to escalate something or assign a task or load a document, it's all in Bitrix and you can set up reminders to remind people of what has to happen or even add automations, escalations. So if I've assigned a lead to you, Yvonne, and you haven't followed it up within two days, it can notify me as your manager or the business owner, you're going to lose the sale because Yvonne is not, has not followed up on it. Or when you do marketing to track leads coming in that has to be followed up so you don't lose them because that's money. If you're not efficient in your business, you're losing money. And if you're not productive with your time, then you're also going to lose money. And that's another point where I find that Bitrix is excellent because not just is it on my laptop online, I've also got the app on my phone. So while I'm sitting with clients, I can refer back to their actual file um, is there stuff that's still outstanding? Is there more, more information that I need to put on? And a lovely little aspect that I picked up is I can do a voice recording exactly. in the file. Yeah. And I can phone from it, uh, from the app as well, which actually then records it. So yeah, you've, you've just got, my mind's always at 50 places all at once. So I'm sitting with a client now and you have specific requirements. So. I capture all the comments about what we are talking, your requirements, you need a document. So as we actually in the meeting, like I had this morning, we're on a web meeting, you need a document. I open my Bitrix, I open an email, I select the document from my library that's in Bitrix. I've sent it. I don't have to remember to do it yesterday. And now if I'm having a follow-up meeting with you next week, I've seen 50 customers in the meantime. I can't remember what we spoke about. So I'll open that contact and I'll see all the communication that the whole team, everybody had with him. So mm. I don't repeat the same questions or he feels like, okay, but I've already told you this. Mm -hmm. And that's the, while I'm mentioning the, the documents, that's one thing you get with Bitrix that you get a drive, your Bitrix drive. Like, like, you, like a Google like drive. Like Google drive, one drive. So as you um, go to the higher packages, your storage is getting more. So now you're, your consultant on, on the street or on the, on the road needs the updated pricing. He doesn't have to phone the office. He opens his Bitrix either on his laptop or his phone, and he has the updated pricing right there and then. He's hmm. seen the customer. He's logged a query. He doesn't have to get back to the office. To It's already logged. The, the office already knows what's going on because it's, it's all about efficiency. Our, our days are running at a hectic pace, and then you lose things along the line, hmm. and then you're not efficient if you're not efficient means you're becoming you're not productive because i'm here on this and i need to follow up on this i don't know where am i so with bitrix you can just be a bit more planned and that's that's why i love bitrix because i'm i'm like i said i'm i'm a creative person so i can be a bit and you're all over and it, bitrix, that, bitrix helps you to keep all those loose ends together structure. in terms of sales now i'm doing implementations so i i, I I'm create a project everybody that's involved in the project and like you said externals if i set up a project for implementation at a customer that customer is loaded as a member of that project so i can assign tasks to him 
he can log in and see where's the project, what's going on. Um, so it gives you a lot of transparency. And um, if, and if the you're customer stuck feels somewhere, like he's part of the process. He's in control. And if you're stuck somewhere, you can exactly see where it is. A customer on the customer side and for me so if the project delayed um he can log in and say okay it's actually one of his employees that's keeping it from going so mm -hmm. yeah gives you that's why our company name is full view because a company needs a full view of what's happening to be an effective business you need to know what happened what's happening now and have control on what's coming and that's one I what another thing that I like about Bitrix, um, because with a lot of SMEs that I work with, you get that they've got uh, the accounting eventually after I've gotten hold of them all on Wave apps, and then they've got the sales records and the visits and the calls here in and, Excel <laughs> and Excel and spreadsheets and the return calls and 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 and, and. but Bitrix keeps it all together. And what's nice about it is you can actually, from that data that has been recorded through the entire process, does not have to be re-recorded to generate a report. No. And there's so many pre-set up reports that you can just run. So when you sign up for Bitrix, you're not installing anything. You're not, you sign up and you log in and it's there and you can change the, um, the main features to say I want to use it for just communication or for sales and it's preset up you can just log on and go and use it yeah and everything is already there and what what I like about it a lot although we'll still get wave apps integrated into yes, it we'll push for that we'll push for that I'll call definitely the boss. Um, but what I like about it is I can take my existing website mm. with wordpress.org and I can take my my gmail my google business suites and i can integrate it all into there it pulls my emails through if there's an email from a client that is already recorded in the crm it attaches it to that client exactly. i reply to that client and it attaches it to there so all that all that communication is attached to that file if you th just think about um web forms if you go onto a company's website and you're completing a form then normally it comes to a designated person as an email and they have to follow up or they have to go capture with whilst with Bitrix they call it CRM forms so you um, basically link that form on your website the moment they capture it if somebody loads or completes a form on my website now I will immediately get a notification on my phone and in my Bitrix, and if I want to, I can even get an email. So I know something happened. I need to follow up, and I can do an automation even in Bitrix. As soon as someone's logged that, I send them an automatic response. Thank you for your inquiry, and to the responsible person that has to follow up, an email, listen, this is what he's interested in, this is his phone number, and if he hasn't done it within two hours, I can escalate it. So... You can, it, it, you it can be a policeman. You can see it as policeman in your business, or you can see it as a manager to help you be more efficient. You can literally nip Parkinson's law in the butt with time efficiency. Absolutely. Because there's no longer a scenario, because previously my website was set up that whoever fills in a form, it goes through to that, it uh, gets added to, to MailChimp um, for record purposes contact purposes and it sends something through to email now running around out on the road i don't generally check my emails during the day and then when you get that email you have to recapture all that information into the system that you're working with where with britix this is all automated and you get notified okay another person has contacted you through the website yeah, we don't because we don't have time to duplicate information and then you'll have it as a task and you need to complete it so in terms of customers i think sometimes we've got the wrong perception of you get through three types of customers according to me mm -hmm. i've got my current customers buying from me i've got my potential customers which i also have to treat um with respect and for their time and my suppliers are my customers Yes. So if I'm managing all that in a, a customer record base, then I'm treating everybody with respect in terms of their time. And with the age that we're in for digital marketing, 
that's also something you do in Bittrex. And they're launching so many new features at the moment, it feels like I can't keep up. You can send all your email campaigns like you would do with MailChimp. You could either link your MailChimp or only use Bittrex to send out your emails, track the clicks, see what's happening, schedule it for whenever it has to go, send it. In your case, I only want to send this email to all my clients in Randburg that's relevant to this type of industry. So you can target it very specifically, mm -hmm. track the response. You can manage your Facebook comments, all your social media, and it's all part of a system. It's nothing extra. And that's the other thing you, you gave. You have your, your Facebook integration, you have your Instagram integration, and it's all there. You can go and place a, a Facebook marketing ad and then Absolutely. track the clicks and track the responses instead of going to all the places on Facebook that you've actually marketed this it brings it all to you and it once you've started paying for a uh, uh, paid per click then you can actually have that data already in a system recorded instead of trying to go and track that data to pull it through to see if it is actually cost effective and what was the results on that marketing that's the brilliant thing about digital marketing is you can track your return on investment so you don't waste your money Precisely. When we get back, we'll talk a bit more about Bittrex 24. See you on the other side of the ad. This is what you missed on the social show. My first question then is where are these hubs of economic development? Which township do I find a hub of economic development? Why must, if the focus is really capacitating the disadvantaged, why must I climb onto Travel. three, four taxis to get to a Santin area? A Santin area has got about six to even 20 of these, right? Mm. Coming from Alexander or Tembisa. So you then find that there is a township economy, but the people that are living within this township economy that are starting businesses in this township economy are not full participants of this township economy. For more, go to www.brandlife.co.za. Have you ever thought about the power of social media? Social media has the power to make your business grow. Grow! Why don't you let us manage your social media? Because our business is to see your business grow. Visit us at www.beastownmedia.co.za Making a bold statement yet blending into the surrounding suburbs of Melville, 27 Boxes is a realization of edgy design and practical implementation. A radical departure from the shopping malls of our generation, yet not a return to the high streets of our youth. 27 Boxes showcases the best of a shopping center set in a garden surrounded by the bohemian suburb that is Melville. 27 Boxes Shop Play, eat. You are listening to the Financial Independence Coach brought to you by brandlife.co.za and Yefil PTY LTD recorded live here 27 boxes. Now, we, today we're talking Bitrix and we've got you, Anika, here in the studio. And before the ad, we were talking about all the different features of Bitrix and all the nice thingies. But, Yonika, from a small business point of view and i get this question a lot from people that i coach and i know the answers but please tell our listeners why is it so important to have a system like this in place in view of our sales in view of our customer relationships why is it so important to have such a i would say productivity tool if you put yourself on the other end of the line, <coughs> I'm shopping around for a product. So you phone a lot of companies, you send a lot of emails. Which one is going to impress you? The one that replies first and that's most efficient in mm -hmm. that way. If you have a customer complaint and you log it and they take two weeks to call you back, already you are disappointed. Exactly. So to, because we're in such a fast pace, technology is making everybody expect Instant gratification now. So now with Bitrix, you can try and not, you're not going to get it right all the time because it's still 
relies on input and on people so you can use the system um, so you can make sure that you follow up and, and make sure that things happen especially in terms of sales some scary statistics are because um, I like to read up on these things mm -hmm. 50% of sales only happens after the fifth follow-up call or email rather phone calls because I don't know about you I get so many emails um, unless it really grabs my attention, I'm not then even it's gonna like read an it. um, yo, I'll get to it tomorrow. Don't get to send it tomorrow. me an SMS because I'm not even gonna read it. Or WhatsApp, I'll read. That's why I've got WhatsApp business that can do automatic replies. Yes. Um, and then this next stat is um, the average salesperson only does two follow ups. And you know, that's a scary reality of we, we've got so many people want to push production, push sales, push income. Yet they only do two follow-ups. So you get the leads, but like my one customer that has a call center, they talk about burning leads. So you get them and you process them and you tick them, but you, you haven't really explored that lead. So some stats, and I can't remember the, the agency or the company's name in America, they're big on research. They say if you implement a CRM system, so not just for the sales, for managing your contacts, with your customers if you implement it properly because you can buy the system if you don't use it you've wasted mm. your money exactly after three months um, worst case scenario you will increase the sales of each of your salespeople in the field by one percent and growing each month and in general for a company that can add up to 40 percent increase in the successful conversions of your sales so imagine a 40% growth over annual time period. I think most small businesses would be ecstatic no, with that. absolutely. There's a calculation they call the power of one. I don't know if you know it. So, yes. So if you increase your sale efficiency with 1%, so that's a calc you can go do. See what's your number of leads you get in. So even if you keep that the same, improve your conversion rate with 1% decrease your expenses with one percent because now your salespeople are going to be more effective pay less over time and then you check what's the difference in your profit by that one percent and then you can grow that to two three and four um, and that's where the these stats are super super scary um, and that's why we lose business we chuck money down the drain that people are giving it to you with the leads you're getting but you're burning it and exactly, and it starts a whole compounding effect. It starts a whole snowball effect. And if the snowball rolls in the right direction, it can make a massive impact on your, your profit, your bottom line at the end of the day. And the implementation of a CRM system, and I've seen that in quite a few companies, is the way you sell it to your employees because they are the ones that's going to use it. If you want to sell it as a policeman, so now I'm going to check if you follow up your sales and what you're doing. You're going to get so much. You're going to get no buy in, no. into the project. Because they are the ones that's going to determine if it's efficient. So I always say market it to your um, employees because you have to sell them the system as a tool to help you to be more efficient. And although it gives me reporting on if they are doing their job, it's also the other way. So because some people feel that they work so hard. But they can't see the results for it. now your manager can see your phone calls and your emails. And you can actually, wow, I need to value this. So it's the way you sell it. And we even try and make it fun. So with the training, we'll give you a fizzer and a plaster and a grandpa or whatever. To say. <laughs> Implementing a new system, it has growing pains. So Obviously. be realistic about it. But embrace it. Because at the end, the system is there to empower you it's not there to check up on you unless you are one of those guys having lunch breaks all day long on the road then you're not gonna like it. or coffee breaks at the coffee machine instead of doing your job behind your desk now last week i sat with one of my my coaching clients and we're busy looking at implementing this and integrating it with his website and everything and i've pointed out to him the fact that for him he can put everything for one client in the record and he can do his leads generation through it and he's got his whole business as being a one-man band he's got his whole business literally at his fingertips mm -hmm. literally 
And what I love about the system is, um, and I've tested it for the last two weeks. I have literally tested it on the data usage. And it uses less data than what my Google Suites does. Mm. So on a data side, it is efficient. On a cost-effective side, it is efficient because even on the free package that you can get, it you've got all those functions that you can integrate. Yeah, you integrate your email. You've got storage for free. Mahala, if we say in Cloud storage, and you don't have to run back to the office to go and get no. a, a file or anything like that. And you can sit with your client. Yes, uh, want a quote? Can give a quote. So small businesses, are, I think that's the backbone and where our economy will survive. So in my passion about Bittrex, if you use the free version, and there's no terms and conditions catching, you need to put your credit card details and three months later. No, 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 it's free. You log in, no credit card details, no banking details. So that's a tool for any small business startup you can use to make sure you're managing your business. You can even do your quotes and your invoicing from there with all the VAT, everything. So for a startup, this tool is there to help you grow your business. And what I like about it, it creates that foundation that, as I always say to everybody that I coach, that green flat Lego piece at the bottom, which you can build up from, from there. Now, Unica, if anybody wants more information about this where can they get hold of you so they can either go to our website fullviewsolutions.cr.za or they can go to our facebook page which is also full view solutions and what i'll do is i'll give you um, my phone number and then you can uh, circulate it to the customers if you want but yeah if you go to our website you can complete my Bitrix crm form and i will receive a notification and yeah, so we are passionate about businesses. I'm not selling you a product if you don't need it. And I want to be your partner in your business to help you get the system to grow. Because if you pay me and it's not working, I've wasted your money and I've wasted my time. Exactly. And it's, although it's a product, it's a solution to existing problems in the small business market. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, that was Unica from Bitrix24 Full View Solutions. And this was the Financial Independence Coach recorded live at 27 Boxes here in Melville, brought to you by brandslife.co.za and Yefel Pty LTD. And until next week, this is me, Yvonne, saying Shalom. Live from 27 boxes in the heart of Melville, this is brandlive.co.za.